This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day so far, or if you've just woken up, hopefully you're having a good morning so far. Today is Monday. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the date is today, but it's Monday. <laughs> it's all I know. And it is, what's the time? It's 5.35 in the morning. We're just heading towards uh, Southampton. We're on the M20, no, we're on the M3 at the moment. We will be on the M27. Uh, we're heading towards Days Aggregates in uh, Wollstone, which is in Southampton. Uh, and I just thought, you know what, let's do some POV, let's do some nighttime POV. I've not done nighttime before. Um, and I've been asked quite regularly recently to do some more POV videos. So uh, I thought, why not do a nighttime POV or early morning POV? So that's what we're doing. We will be there in about, and what's that now saying? 30 minutes so we'll be there in 30 minutes hopefully if not a little bit quicker I'm just overtaking this van who's now decided to speed up a little bit okay now I'm clear so I can go in so I don't, I'm not entirely sure what you can see in the mirrors but uh, yeah at night time you can't really see your trailer very well. Um, obviously, driving class two, um, you can see the uh, the lights on the side of your lorry a lot easier, I think. Um, whereas on the trailer, you can't see the lights very well at all, unless you're actually going around a bend, and then you see your lights. So um, yeah, when we uh, when we come off the motorway and we do some uh, some turning across roundabouts and stuff like that, you'll see. Can't really see the lights until you actually go around the corner. It's all right. So we started work this morning, uh, 3.45. Um, this morning I had to fill up with fuel on my left tank and I also needed to put ad blue in as well. So I had to come in a little bit earlier just to make sure I can uh, get around the yard because the yard could be so tight sometimes that um, you can't get around with a trailer on but luckily I could I did not have to take my trailer off thanks for flashing me in yeah I did not have to take my trailer off so that was very uh, good nice and handy uh, so I filled up my left hand side tank and also put ad blue in I did my right tank Friday and I tried putting ad blue in on Friday but uh, the yard didn't have any they'd run out of them. I'm indicating Thank you. I was indicating for quite a while then and that car was just steaming up in the second lane. Never mind. So yeah, we were, we were all filled up. We we're ad blued up. Although I didn't check. But yeah, we are ad blued up. And um, yeah, we're good to go. 5.38 now. Should be there just after 6 o'clock. And I have no idea what we're doing today. I do plan on doing a vlog over the next couple of days. Uh, I've been getting quite a few messages asking when the next video is coming. Uh, soon <laughs> is the answer. I mean, this in itself is a video, but the next actual vlog should be coming out this week uh, when you see this video. So do not fear. There is a video coming. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is those 4K cameras. You know, remember I uh, said I was going to buy some 4K cameras? Turns out they weren't very good. So I received them in the post. Uh, I done some test footage. I actually recorded a POV with the 4K camera, and I was going to have my first ever 4K video in a POV. But um, um, when I transferred the files over to the laptop, they looked fine they had both video and audio but as soon as I would transfer the file into my editing 
software, which in this case was Adobe Elements, it would only transfer the video, the audio would not go along with it. And I tried loads of different things, I tried, tried um, converting the file into a different format, I tried even using Windows Movie Maker just, just to see if a different software would, uh, would, you know, would help. But no, it didn't. Every time I tried transferring the file over to the software editing suite, it would only do the video, so I ended up returning both cameras, um, and yeah, so I'm getting a refund on that. I think I'll just have to stick with GoPros. If I want to do a 4K video, I'm going to have to buy a 4K GoPro. They are not cheap. They're like in excess of 300 quid, so I'm going to have to do some saving. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would, I would like to go to 4K, not, not just necessarily for the 4K, but to have full HD and higher FPS as well. So right now this is in 30 FPS, 30 frames per second. It just looks a lot nicer if it's in 60. Uh, and if you can get 120 like the new GoPros do, you can have slayer motion shots as well, which is pretty cool. I can't show you right now because it's dark and because I'm driving, but um, Kev T, I, I put a link in the description, he's another YouTuber. I watch his videos all the time and he's he's like really good at editing and the footage he gets is fantastic and he's got this one video up and it had like a, a time lapse and the time lapse video you don't know if you can see my hand but basically uh, the, the, the camera panned along like turned left while it was on a time lapse and it looked absolutely amazing. So I've gone and bought myself one of those devices. It was only like 10, 20 quid, something like that. Um, and I am going to try and use that at some point in my videos. But yeah, shout out to Kev T, uh, who showed me that. I'll put a link in the description below. And definitely go check out his channel. We have light. Not natural light, but light nonetheless. We want the M27 East, which is the middle lane. Now we're in lane one, Southampton. We'll be there in 23 minutes. So you can kind of see the trailer now. It's, it's during the daytime, it's fine. You can see the trailer, no problem at all. But at night time, it's, it's quite hard to see the trailer, especially when it's pitch black like our yard is sometimes, where we park at the back. Um, it's pitch black and you can't see go around corners and there are obstacles you've got to miss but never mind so we're just about to hit one hour and a half driving like I said we we started about 3.45 this morning I left just after 2 o'clock uh, just after 2 o'clock just after 4 o'clock about 4.15 4.20 something like that so that's when we left. You can't really tell at the moment, but uh, over the weekend, my boss has gone in to work and he's made some amendments to my truck. The ones I've spotted so far, because <laughs> it is dark outside, <laughs> he's put new wing mirrors on, uh, well, my wing mirrors, he put new covers on the wing mirrors. They are now white, so they match the color of the truck, whereas before they were black. So now they're white. Uh, and also, you can't see, but he's put the company name on top of the banner. It now says JK Transport. So now I'm repping JK Transport. Rip! <laughs> and um, yeah, I could be spotted a little bit more easier now by my colleagues. Uh, not that I'm not recognisable. I've got, I've got Dave here in the windscreen. And I've got my Luxine HDV plates. I'm, I'm spotted on the roads most of the time by people who work with the same company. There's only four other guys. I'm the one who don't spot them, and they're all in custom-made trucks. <laughs> I had uh, Martin the other day, he flashed me on the M27, might have been the M3. Uh, and I saw I saw a flash, like, last minute, as he was coming past, I saw the flash. And then I was like, I looked at my windscreen and realised it was him. I could see at the back of the truck that it was him. But I didn't flash him, I never saw him. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? They're in custom-made trucks, and I can't see them. Or to make you see me. I just spend most of my time looking ahead where I'm going, not on the other side of the road. 
maybe I need to get more experience. <sighs> so five and a half more miles, we'll be off the M27 and then we'll be on uh, normal roads into Warston. So yeah, so where I get loaded from, I just, I always call it Southampton, but it's, it's technically called Warston, which is like W, double O L S T O N Walston. I believe that's just part of Southampton. I, I believe it's like where I live in Swindon. You've got a place called Greenbridge. That's still in Swindon. So I'm assuming that's that's what it is for Walston. It's a place in a place. That's what I'm assuming. So, so this is the airport here. <laughs> you know, like when you when you start yawning, you then can't stop. <laughs> Just flash him through, let him out. Southampton Airport's a busy little airport, isn't it? They haven't got like masses of jets over, like going overhead or anything like that. It's uh, was it Fly Me or Fly Mo, Fly Bo, something like that like uh, twin propelled aircraft. They must land and take off every sort of couple of minutes. It's quite a busy airport and where we get loaded from in days aggregates, they literally go right overhead. That's their landing pattern, if you like. That's, that's straight on to the walls of the airport. So they are quite low sometimes above us. And also while we're getting loaded out of days aggregates, we are literally across the river from Southampton Football Club. Is it St. May St. Mary's Stadium, I think it's called, something like that. I do like football. And being from Swindon, you'd think I support Swindon Football Club, but I've never been. Like I mean don't get me wrong, I play I play a Swindon on FIFA. <laughs> that's as that's as close as I get to, to supporting them. I've um, I do quite like football but I've never actually been to a football to a football match, believe it or not. But, having said that, if, I think if I did actually live in Southampton and in Walston, I think I'd be a massive Southampton fan. What, the stadium being just there? Definitely. 100%. Two and a bit miles. Had a busy weekend. This weekend just gone. My daughter turned five on Wednesday last week. Uh, and we had a birthday party on Saturday. So we had 12 little girls come over for a birthday party. I was being like a proper dad, cutting the cake, delivering the cake. We actually had two parties. We had a party for our mates from school and like their parents in the morning. Then we had a second party for family and friends. We didn't want to have everyone there at the same time. so. The party started at 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 half 10, uh, and the first party ended about 1 o'clock, and then at 2 o'clock everyone else started turning up, family and friends, and we had, we had a house for like all weekend, well I say all weekend, Sunday we didn't, Sunday I had a massive headache all day, just felt like rubbish. Mm. I was supposed to go in and uh, wash the truck. Uh, every weekend, my, obviously my boss, these are custom trucks, they, he likes them to be nice and clean. And although I cleaned the interior, polished the interior up on Friday before I left, the wash was being used, so I couldn't use the wash. Saturday I was busy all day and Sunday I had a massive headache, I just wasn't feeling enough coming in to wash the truck. So I, I had to give it a quick blast this morning when I got the fuel. So I did the best I could, but obviously it was dark so I couldn't really see much. But I got most of the dirt off. It was a little bit grubby, I'm not going to lie. So, what I need to do when I go back Wednesday is try and give it a wash Wednesday. That's what I do. I come out Monday, go back Wednesday. <sighs> I have two nights out, go back Wednesday, and then start early again on Thursday. One night out and come back again on Friday. That's what I normally do three nights out a week, £25 a night out. Um, 
and I'm not entirely sure if I've actually ever mentioned how much I earn on this job. I, I should be earning, because I've, I've now passed my probation as far as I'm aware. I've worked for three months and they haven't got rid of me, so I should have passed my probation, which means I should now get a pay rise. So I should be on, assuming I do three nights out a week, I should be on £625 a week. Should. But uh, I'll have to wait until I get my next pay slip to find out. Basically, each month I take home two grand. That's after tax. Over two grand I take back. So, and I'm not, I don't know if that's good or bad. There probably are jobs out there that uh, pay more. But um, at the moment, it's experience for me. That's what is important. This is my first class one job. No one else is ever going to take me on unless I've got some sort of experience behind me. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. Get some experience. I'm not going to move or leave. I quite like working for this guy. I've known my boss for, uh, for a couple of years now. He knows my dad. He knows my, my dad's mate. It's all hunky dory. We're like a little family, really. A little family run business. Right, so we're now off the motorway, and now we're just heading into Walston. So if you look at my mirror, look, well, I suppose now you can kind of see the trailer because there's lights. But sometimes you cannot see the trailer whatsoever. There we go. Oh yeah. Since he's put that wing mirror on, I don't know if you've been able to hear it. It's making a whistle, like a howl howling or whistling effect. If anyone knows uh, any trade secrets to get rid of that bloody whistle noise, let me know. Didn't do it before. Does now. Got to mind these cars on my outside. Getting around this roundabout, I do need to take up a little bit of their lane, otherwise my back wheels will hit the kerb. Not that you can really see them that well. There we go. Sounds like I've got some tins up there rolling around. Those FedEx vehicles, every time I see them, all I can see is the arrow. If you don't know what I mean, look in between the E and the X. There's an arrow. It's like a secret symbol. It's like Amazon, where they got their arrow um, starting on the A and ending on the Z because it's their way of saying that they sell everything from A to Z. Secret symbols, secret meanings within logos. I think Argos is designed to be a smile. It's fascinating, some of those stuff. Well, it's not really fascinating, it's quite sad that I know it really. But I do like... I spend a lot of time on my phones, <laughs> so I find out a load of crap. nearly there. See the sat nav says I'll be there in 10 minutes but I don't think it'll be 10 minutes. It don't take that long to get there from here. Can you hear that mirror? Really annoying. Light better not change. But I already committed to that. And that is quite a tight chicane. That light was green 
and then it turned orange or amber while I was on the other side of the road committed to it which I had to be on the other side of the road I was I would not have made that chicane never mind I do like driving at this sort of time in the morning the roads are just so quiet This road could be a nightmare sometimes. Well, not really this road. It's the road up towards Itchen Bridge. It gets terribly busy. Itchen Bridge, you have to pay to go across. A bit like Severn Bridge. But, um, into Wales. But, um, the tolls are on this side. So as you're uh, rolling up the road, I'm not entirely sure what the road is called. I'll let you know when we get there the traffic can build up quite far. This roundabout is a bit nasty because you can't cut this corner here, he's indicating, because your tyres are cut there. And you've got to take this as wide as you can. So then you don't hit that chicane there with your back wheels. can be a bit annoying. Right here, there's a bus stop, and the bus will obviously stop at the bus stop. And when it does, you can't get through in a lorry. Cars can get past it, but in a lorry, you cannot get past that bus. And that bus will sometimes sit there for a couple of minutes and obviously he realises that you can't get past and he, he drives off and then he stops at the next bus stop <laughs> and then he's in your way there bloody buses they're worse than lorry drivers he's got no lights one on the back yeah one on the back Cyclists only have reflectors on the front. Right, so we turn right at these lights. And then this road here is called Portsmouth Road. This leads all the way up to Itchen Bridge and sometimes it can just get really busy all the way up for about half a mile. You can be crawling up this hill. See that, that cyclist has lights. <laughs> the one in front of me does as well. He works for the company we're about to deliver to. Well, I say deliver to, I mean deliver for. And then Inchin Bridge is over there, straight on but the traffic just builds up all the way along that road which is annoying for people who just want to come down here Nearly here. This road is incredibly bumpy, which, which we're about to go over. You 
can't stand that bridge anymore because the council park all their vehicles there. They're doing something and the tippers come and tip a load of gravel or something and then everyone else gets there as well. Park there. Now I'm just going to watch this cyclist in front of me. Got a few bends coming up so I don't want to overtake them just yet. Easy. Put on my highlights, high beams. Now, are we going to be let straight in, or are we going to have to wait a little bit before we go in? We'll see in a sec. Well, that car's parked quite far out, isn't he? It'll take a proper wide turn to get in here then. Yeah, that was tight. No lorries parked outside, so I head straight up to the gate. Warning. The police are not coming, no matter what you say. Right, that's it. We're here. Ugh. So hopefully you enjoyed that little POV. My hair's probably a bit right mess now wearing a hat. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. More vlogs are definitely coming on the way. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, until next time drive safe, bye bye. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class one and two courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.